Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm on today with you to um, do uh, a swap um, with the lovely M Jen. I believe her channel is Crafty Little Gem. I could be wrong. Um, I should have really looked before I come on, but I didn't. <laughs> so yeah if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm very sorry um uh, but i think it is yeah mm. silly me yeah um anyway so we are doing a swap and um it's like a it's like a journal book ephemera thingy type thing so i have taken inspiration from a channel i've just recently subscribed to uh called Paul Ford um, and he did an amazing Harry Potter um, like book box type thing uh, so yeah like I said I've taken inspiration from that um, and I've come up with this what's this bit for I don't know what that bit's for um, so I have come up with this yeah <laughs> let me take my my bits out beautiful bit she loves the color yellow and the color pink and spring is her favorite season so i've just been and rummaged through my lace and ribbon uh box um but this is what i've come up with so it's got three different compartments and it is a box how cool is that and my measurements are six by eight and um, I think these is it one and a half uh, just over one and a half um, for my for my side so each side is let's just say one and a half um, but the one that Paul Ford did on his channel um, he did a big one and I think it was 11 by 8 Eight. I'm not quite sure but I will link um, them videos because there's three all together I think <coughs> sorry about that um, so I've just downsized mine a little bit um, so I've gone around the edges in um, strips of yellow uh, it's not very tidy as you can see it's not you know um, but it'll be all right once I get the lace and the ribbon on it'll be fine um, and I've just made mine out of um, 12 by 12, cut it down, um, and this is what I've got. And I like it. I really, really do. Uh, so, enough waffling. Um, I'm going to start decorating. And the bits that I've picked um, are from... Sorry, I'm just trying to tuck my chair in. Right, are from... Uh, the hunky dory free gift that you got um i can't remember the issue i'm sorry um so i'm using the known ones because i just think they're beautiful and i've got the paper that matches and that is going on the back so that that'll be on the back but this is going on here in the front and i'm going to decorate it up and i'm going to put lace and uh, ribbon on and just make it look very pretty and i'm going to fill it with ephemera um instead of like uh, uh like ephemera books and i might do a little wallet to put in this bit um but there might be some chuckies in there and you know bits and bobs and she also likes disney um anything disney so i'm gonna have to hunt around for all my disney bits um but yeah that is where we are at the moment so let's see what we can do with this gorgeous yellow ribbon um and i've got some pink lace as well oh and i've got some white lace uh so let's see what we can do with the lace i'm thinking let me just put this under here just to see what i uh, see what it looks like oh yeah i like that lace under there uh, just poking out so I'm gonna cut it um, yeah I'm going to 
cut it and stick it underneath. Um, let's just get a piece off. I didn't even know I had this pink lace. I don't even know where I got it from. But it's beautiful. So I'm just going to cut it in half so there's not a lot of bulk. Um, I think this video is probably going to be um, in a couple of parts, but obviously I'm not going to put it up until um, she has received it. Um, so, yeah. Right, so we're going to stick this here, but I don't want it to go past the actual box, so I can cut that off, can't I? Um, so, yeah, about there. And there it is. I thought I didn't bring it back in. Oh, get the top off that. Oh dear, it's all gunked. All gunked up. There we go. Right. Oh, I've got glue strings off it. Lovely. Uh, I could have quite easily just put my hot glue gun on, but yeah, instead of burning myself, don't want that to happen, do we? And the closure, I'm going to make a feature out of. Uh, so it's going to be like a clip type thing. Uh, but I'm putting the paper on first. Uh, but it will tie in with uh, the decoration. I hope it ties in with the decoration. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> right, so that's on there. Okay. So... Uh, we need to stick this down, um, so I want my Cosmic Shimmer, so we'll stick this down as well, there we go, ooh, can you email my washing machine, sounds like it's getting ready to take off, <laughs> does sound like an aeroplane, Get this stuck on. Lots of glue because we want it to stick firmly. Could use tape. Um, I think my tape's upstairs actually. I'm gonna put it this way so I can because it's right on the edge. And that side as well. Okay. Right, let me just, I haven't got enough space. Right, let's do that. Stick it down. Oh, scrape my nail then. Mm. Okay, so I think that's firmly stuck. these gorgeous bows aren't they beautiful I did have two yep so I've got two bows oh that's lost its middle I'm gonna have to put another middle round there I think that'd be too big oh no that'll fit fine okay so I've got them gorgeous little bows as well um I've got this and I was thinking down like down there. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where now. Oh, I don't know. I, I am going to put paper on this. Um, but I could do it either side, couldn't I? So they just hang off. Yeah, so if I do it like that, and the flowers will be on there, and they'll also be on the back as well. And then I can put my paper on top of that. Yes! We have a plan, Claire. Right, I'm just going to cut this lace down. I don't want it around that end bit. Do this bit. Oh, it's very fiddly. Um, let's just cut that down and round that off. 
pan. Oh, made a bit of a mess about that. There we go. So that is our front cover so far. And doesn't that look so, so cute? I love it. And then we're going to do the same on the back so it matches the front. Um, hmm, I wonder. Let's utilise this by cutting around them gorgeous flowers. Watch me make a mess of this. Around like that. We haven't got them bits there, so let's just do this big fussy cutting lace. <laughs> we'll see how good this looks. If it looks naff, then we're not going to use it, are we? But <laughs> may as well utilize what I've got here. Nah. I'm just trying to be very, very careful and not cut into them pretty flowers. But cut them bits off at the same time. Mm. Talk amongst yourselves for a bit. <laughs> this might take a while. Oh, very shaky. Dear me. Who'd have thought it'd be so difficult cutting around this? I've never done this before. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, it looks okay. Yeah. It'd be alright. It'd be good. It's just very fiddly. I haven't got the steadiest of hands at the moment. Can always tidy it up, kind of, when it's stuck on. Oh, don't cut that bit off. We're nearly done. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. If it's a long one, I will apologise right now for it. Um, but I know some of you do like a long video. My, me, me personally. I love a long video because then I can craft along and I can listen and watch uh, somebody else somebody else jabber. <laughs> Nearly done. No, don't cut that off. It's going to get cut off anyway. Right. Okay, we'll keep hold of them bits. Don't know what for, but you never know. Right, and that is going to be stuck on there, and I quite like the way that looks, actually. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Oh, I'm using the wrong glue. It's not that glue I want to use, is it? It's this glue. Ish. Never mind. I was just so happy with myself that I managed to cut that lace. <laughs> there we go. Grab you there. And put you there. there. I like that. And I can go along and I can snip all the little bits of lace that I don't like. I might just leave it. I don't know. Right, this is going to be harder because it's the box side of it. So I'm just going to try and snip that off. We have success. I haven't even found my closure yet. I know what I'm using. Take like a hook and uh, hook and latch type thing um so yeah that's what 
I will be using if I can find it. If I can't find it, then I obviously will be using something else. And then we have the paper for the back. Oh, that's nice. And I can put my stamp on the bottom as well. And I'm, I'm hoping, hoping uh, she's going to like this and she doesn't think that, you know, it's not what we agreed. It, it is and it isn't because it's it's not it's not a journal and it's not an ephemera book it's an ephemera box thing <laughs> i don't know what you would call it actually from a book box box book i don't know i don't know i'm talking poop okay so we've got that done and i've got to tell you this took ages to build to work out all of my measurements and to get all my little strips and get them all stuck down right oh it's upside down quick 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 that way oh dear oh my Right, now I know where it's stuck anyway. Eee, that was a quick save, wasn't it? My goodness me. Wish I'd have noticed sooner. <laughs> oh no. It's okay though. It's okay. Right, let's just hope it doesn't look too bad when I stick it back down. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's going to be all bobbly now. But I saved it. Let's just try and get some of them bobbly bits out. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Quick save. Whew. Right, so we have the front and we have the back. Oh dear. Right. Now I'm going to, let's move that out the way. I will use that yellow ribbon at some point. Um, oh, and I've got this as well. This is beautiful, this. I wonder if I can get away. We'll just put this down here. Ooh. Will it fit on? It ooh. Ooh. Let's have a go and see how much we've got. Please don't rip it. Let's see how much we've actually got. See if we can go around the whole thing. Eh? I don't think so. Right, we'll start here. Go all the way around. <gasps> Do you know what? Do you know what? Oh my word, we have got enough. And I think that's what I'm going to do. That is beautiful. I'm so happy I thought of that. Yes. I'm so happy. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Let me just see where it needs to end. Should I end it there or should I end it up here? I think I'll end it up here and I'll put like a flower or something there. Oh no. I was putting on flowers on, wasn't I? Mmm. Mmm. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm having a, a, a proper think here. Right. <laughs> this is crafting on the go. I think these lace flowers... Oh, that's a bit ripped. I think these lace flowers came from... Jennifer Lee's. I could be completely wrong. Right, let's just see. Let's do that. Let's just see what it looks like. See if I'm happy. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to. But I could cut the like applique flowers off. But I am going to start here like this and go all the way around like that. Because I like that. And yeah, it's pink and it's yellow and it's beautiful. Oh my god. I love it. When I 
plan comes together. I wasn't even thinking of using that ribbon. I was going to use it on something else, but here we go. I am happy, happy, happy. Just check the width of this. So I want it on either side. So if I do that, I know it's going to go to that part of the glue. Hope the glue doesn't show through. I didn't think of that, did I? Oh well. Move that out of the way. Right, so oh, why have I stuck it all far? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, I'm going around the other way so that glue's gonna dry by the time I come back. Let's wipe it off. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Try not to go mad and wipe it all over the place. There we go. That'll do. Right. Okay. And then, oh, no, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's all good. It's going to be a very, very pretty, um, book box. <laughs> I'm going to call it a book box. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a book box. I'm not putting a lot on because I really don't want it to bleed through my ribbon. Um, it's, it is quite a thick ribbon, but yeah, you still don't want it to look like it's, it's wet. Like that. Like so. Oh, I like it. That, do you think I've gone overboard with the pink and the yellow? I mean, she did say she likes pink and yellow. And I love matchy matchy. So, you know. <laughs> A bit too much glue on that bit. Oops. I just rub that little bit of glue there because that's too much. I've got glue strings. Okay, am I off camera? <laughs> Probably. Right, I don't want them stuck down underneath there. Okay, let's make sure that is straight. Sorry if my head gets in the way. And this will strengthen the sides as well. So. I know for definite it's not going to fall apart. And, and another thought, if I can't find my latch and hook, so I know I've got them, um, but if I can't find them, I could just use ribbon, couldn't I? Make some nice, I've got some gorgeous thick um, yellow ribbon there, and I could just use that, couldn't I? Okay. Yeah, an idea. Plan B, that is. <laughs> Nearly done this. Move you out the way, matey. Are we straight? Like so. It's a bit buckled a little bit there. Come on. I think it's probably my box that's not straight. And then we will cut. Oh, God. Ribbon everywhere, and bits of lace, and then I will just cut there. Is it too small now? <laughs> yeah, I can put a flower there. I think. <coughs> yeah, I can put a flower at the join, so it's not going to be 
noticeable. Let's uh, Strings. Let's straighten that up. There we go. Yeah, I think it's my box that's not straight because it's gone off somewhere. But it's okay. Well, that was a unforeseen change, wasn't it? I like that. I'm going to dig through my, my flower box. Oh, that is so pretty, isn't it? And it matches in quite nicely with the yellow and the pink. Oh, I like it. And I'm going to decorate the inside as well. Um, and I've got, yeah, I have to think about them flowers. Um, I've got lots of strips of paper. Where have you gone? I bet I've put it away. Oh, no, there it is. I've got this, um, this is from the Hunky Diary, the fairy part of it, uh, let me get it out, um, I have used this before, um, but it's, it's this, it's this, um, and it's uh, in the fairy garden, and you also get the gnomes as well, um, so that's where that's come from, oh dear. There we go. So that's where that's come from. And the, the, the card I've used for the front and the back. And I cannot remember where this paper pad is from. It was a free gift from a magazine. It could have been Stampin' Up, but I don't think it was. Um, paper Crafter? I don't, I don't know. Um, but I found these pink ones and I quite like, quite like the stars. So I don't know whether to do the lovely, gorgeous uh, flowers or the stars. And I think I'm going to go with this for the inside. But there's not going to be enough. So, because if I cover this, hang on a minute, I've got this. <laughs> I've got this that I cut off. So, yeah, yeah, that will fit. Uh, so I'll... Cut that down. I'll mark it with my pencil. Um, I know it's six by eight, uh, but I'll mark it with my pencil anyway. And then, yeah, I'm not going to go wrong. So, there. And. There. So, I'll keep. Oh, did I knock you? I'm very sorry. I need a better position for my um, phone holder. Right, so I'm just going to cut this down to where I've marked it. Go up there. Okay. I couldn't see my pencil mark, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. So that's for that. So, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Swallowed a frog. <laughs> it swallowed a frog. Uh, so this, I think I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to measure um, to fit. Oh, I've just noticed I haven't put any yellow here. Like here. And I won't border all the way around, or here, or here. So, let's do that before we start cutting. So, I know I've got everything right. So, I've got some scrap yellow left here. So, you get to see how I do this. Um, so, let's move my papers to the side. Um, it's scrap paper, I can go in my uh, scrap wallet um so i need this this and this have I done, yeah i've done everything else um but it just it takes so long to do so i want it there 
So I've just marked it with my my thumbnail. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it would be nice if it would um, fit nicely. Right, so, and I only need an inch. So I cut it to an inch. This is what I've done with all the others. Cut it to an inch. And then, sorry for the squeaking. And then I've scored it right down the middle. Like that. Oh, knocking my light now. And then I've just folded it along that score line. Um, I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. And then I've just put it in like that, lined it up and put it in like that and stuck it down basically. So, yeah, is this gonna fit there? Oh, fits perfectly. And then I will do my, uh, more or less an inch. And then I'll do my little ones. No, it's actually an inch. Score that down the middle. Now you don't have to do any like tapering of the sides if you don't want to. I have on some and haven't on others. So yeah. So we have got that. So that's them bits. Um, right, so it was just that and that, wasn't it? Yeah, so I just need how big was that? Where's my ruler gone? Um that is uh, just under two inches, that gap. And that's two and a quarter inches. So that's not big enough. Have we got any more card that I can use? Um, oh, I can use this. Is this an inch? Just over an inch, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm just going to... If I go that way, I can use my thumbnail to mark it. Mark it there. It doesn't need to be perfect because the edges are going to get covered anywhere. So, and I will. Um, and then it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. So I just need an inch. That and then I will score down at the middle. I think I've got that right. That I've got that wrong. That's a bit smaller, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit small. So <laughs> if I do this and I mark it with my thumb again. Um, I know that is what I need. Wrong bit. <laughs> that bit. Yes. And now I will score that down the middle. Yeah, I don't know. This is why it's taken me so long to do this. It, it has took me. Um, it, it took me nearly all day yesterday just to put the box together. So yeah all right so that bit goes there hold that and that bit goes there so yeah i've got lots of little scraps of yellow card everywhere but it will not go to waste at all right we're going to get to sticking these down um yeah it doesn't really make a difference which way i stick them so it's really just to give uh more stability and for my border that I'm wanting because um, you're going to see it so and I want it to look pretty and I want it to look like like all the same <laughs> so we just place that in there push it down right in the corner make sure you get it right in the corner otherwise it's going to pull a little bit I've done that in some places where it's sort of like pulled um, but yeah it's all good um, 
I'll see how long I've been on for. If I've been on for a long time, uh, then I will um, stop it there and I will come on and I will show you in another video what I've done and how everything looks. So we'll get these stuck on. So I was going to uh, do all the insides, wasn't I? Need it inside doing. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Glue side down. Oh no. Normally, when you drop stuff like this, it's like the sticky side down. But it was okay because it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so this bit is this bit. Yep. Stick it down finger in there to push it in and then the last bit is the corner bit I can move the corner. yeah <coughs> I've done that corner um, and then once I'm finished with all of this um, I might even come back on and do like a, a second part to it because um, this is going to take me a while because then I've got to I want to make my embellishments like my ephemera for her, um, like bespoke to her, like the um, the Disney, like make some Disney toppers and um, some Disney ephemera when I find my Disney stuff, that is. Um, looks a bit of a mess in there, but it'll be covered. It'll be okay. Right, okay, so that is done. And I'm going to have a look, see how long I've been on for. I'm going to stand up first because I cannot see. Um, oh, 37 minutes. I think I've got time to do my insides, haven't I? Right, we'll do the insides. And then when I come back uh, to do... Um, yeah, when when because I'm I think I'll make it into two parts. So, um, the second part will be um the ephemera part. So I'll be making my, all of my the fillings for this, some ephemera and toppers, and yeah, we'll see what we get up to. So we'll just do the insides. Like this. Put this bit down, and this will make. Um, the front cover a lot stronger as well um, and it just ties in with the front of it as well I've never made anything like this before like where it all matches I'm just gonna lay that down and push it on where it all like matches like this because um, I've never had enough of the same paper to do it with um, so I'm so glad I've got this funky diary set. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Now I've threw this around all over the place and it hasn't broke yet. So, <laughs> um, I mean, it's hard to stick on there. I should have got my tape out just for that extra grab. I think. Sticky stick. Sticky stick. Right, okay. I'll leave that alone and I'll stick on its own. Right, I'm going to measure this. So I don't want it right on. So I'm going to say three and a half by. I'm just putting it over the top. Uh, so I'm going to say three and a half by five and a half for this bit. So we'll get that bit cut down first because I've got to do all these bits as well, all the way around. I mean, I could just put yellow card on these bits, couldn't I? And just do these bits. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I've got enough yellow card. So what did I say for this? Three and a half by five and a half. Is that right? I don't know. We'll soon find out. So three and a half. I'm not good with measurements. By five 
Where's the half? Five and a half. Let's see if that actually fits. Oops, I'm out of the way. Please fit. Please fit. Are you fitting? Are you fitting? Oh, how clever is that? So we'll stick this down. <laughs> yeah, sticky sticks. So how is everybody doing? Um, at the time I'm doing this video, it's still quite warm. Um, it has cooled down a little bit. So I don't know when this video is going to go up, really. Um, so, because I don't know when I'm going to be finished this. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to the post office to send it. Um, so, yeah. Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Um, that's not big enough for anything. Oh, let's put it down there. Uh, let's measure this. So this will be the same. This will be five and a half by one and a half. So, God, move things out the way. Everything's in me way. So, what did I say? Five and a half by one and a half. It's very squeaky, this. One and a half, five and a half. So that bit goes there. And this bit is, oh, I haven't stuck anything there either. Oh my word, Claire. Will this fit? Hide a little bit. Sorry if my head gets in the way again. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. It's off a little bit, but it's okay. Cause now I'm doing them the side bits with yellow, um, it's going to be covered anyway. So, yeah, I'm glad I had that little bit there. Hey, you think you finished? And you're not. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so this one is ooh, five and a half. By one and a half. Cool, same size. So I'm gonna do the one and a half. I must uh, I must have uh, really, really measured it last night. <laughs> really, really. So that bit will fit in there. How quick was that? I thought it was gonna take me absolutely ages to get my insides ready. And then all that's left for me to do on the inside is the sides of these bits. It's a pity I haven't got any more of that ribbon left, isn't it? I could have used the ribbon. You know, to, just to match the outside, but it's okay. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the way this is turning out. Um, very tidy as well. <laughs> no inks, uh, no ripping of paper, no splashes or anything. Very, very tidy for me anyway. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I love it. I'm going to have to make myself one of these to put like my butterfly ephemera in. And make little shelves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like the way this is coming together and it's very solid now. Very solid. Before it was a little bit flimsy and you know wibbly bobbling all over the place. <coughs> um, but yeah I just love the way this has turned out. I do, I really, really do. And putting the ribbon on like this, not my idea for it to be used like this, but I quite like it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited about it? I really, really am. Um, so, what have we got left to do for the, the bones of it? Um, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I need 12 pieces of different size cards. 
Um, I think it should be fairly easy because, you know, these were easy. <laughs> we will see. Let me just measure. I think this, this is square. So, one and a quarter by by one and a quarter so one and a quarter by one and a quarter uh, square for each side of that uh, so this should be the same as the inside of here so should this uh, and so should this for the inside of here so what are these ones uh, one and a quarter it should be the same actually by one and a quarter so it's, it's more or less straightforward measurements um so yeah all done well not all done but sorted for when i come to oh, i've got some eyelash trim i don't know what i was doing with that i think i just grabbed it out um i've got some lace here as well i think i was planning to use this i was going to color it um yellow yeah i think that's what i was going to do with it but i quite like the pink on there um we've got these little scrap pieces, I know they're little, they're, you know, they're tiny little scrap pieces, but these can be used and I will put them in my scrap bag of lace and ribbon. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, put that over there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think I've been on long enough with you. Um, like I said, I didn't know how long this video was going to be, uh, but it's um, gone on quite a while now, and we're on 46 minutes, nearly 47 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you see what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let you go. If you liked watching this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you are not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.